Hi everyone, I'm here with Sarah Neal. She is the manager of effective practice at NHSA. Now Sarah, for the past year, NHSA has been working on our Year of Whole Health initiative and it's time to tell everybody out there exactly how we've been listening to the Head Start community and trying to help alleviate some of their pain points. So why don't you tell everybody out there why we started the Year of Whole Health initiative and what we've been doing for the previous program year. So the Year of Whole Health initiative really started about a year ago when we gained a lot of different valuable feedback from the Head Start community about different types of challenges or what we sometimes call pain points that weigh down on your everyday practices. And we found that a lot of those challenges were broadly related to health in some way. For example, uh, many in the Head Start community voiced concern for needing more uh, support and resources for caring for children with challenging behaviors or responding to the effects of substance use disorders and addiction for children and families in Head Start. So NHSA decided to respond by dedicating the entire program year to sharing different types of resources and tools and best practices for helping alleviate these pain points. And we did that through conferences and in-person trainings, but a lot of virtual trainings and webinars as well. So Sarah, throughout the year you invited speakers to our conferences to talk on some of those pain points uh, that we found in our year of Whole Health Initiative. We're going to hear from those speakers in a second, but why don't you tell the viewers out there what exactly those speakers were talking about and what you hope they take away from the message. So I do believe the biggest takeaway from these messages and the Year of Whole Health generally is the importance of promoting and supporting the whole health of not just the child, but the family and the staff and the surrounding Head Start community because it really does come all together. Awesome. So let's jump into some of those interviews with those speakers right now. We were talking about serving homeless families and Head Start and how important it is to serve this particular population and also discussing some of the challenges that are inherent in serving families experiencing homelessness. For a lot of our families, Head Start is the only stable thing in their lives. Many times I've you know, given these kinds of presentations and folks have said, I didn't realize so many young children were experiencing homelessness, oh my gosh. I should do something. If folks can leave the session and think, I'm inspired to do something, I'm inspired to go back to my community and ask the right questions, I think that's success. Today I was uh, reviewing our TIP program, which is our therapeutic interagency preschool program, and how that collaboration works between Head Start, Children's Services, or our Child Welfare Department, and a local mental health agency. Head Start really does a lot of things right and a lot of things well when it comes to implementing trauma-informed practices. Working with people as they're just starting the journey of trauma-informed care is critical because they're looking at it with fresh eyes and a fresh perspective. Taking a trauma-informed perspective is beneficial to all children. The interventions and techniques that are in a trauma-informed uh, practice apply to everybody, not just those who have been involved with trauma. At the very basic, I would like for the attendees to understand that there are a lot of different ways to provide the venue for health and wellness for their staff. Wellness is not just physical health, but it's also very much a part of your mental well-being. It's not one thing that makes up wellness. And it's important because if we are not okay and we're not thriving, how are we in any position to be helping others? That's all those little things that we do for our staff that matters. Wow, so Sarah, what a way to kick off our Year of Whole Health initiative, but we're nowhere near finished. What do we have planned moving forward? Yeah, so we are definitely not done. We are gonna continue this work moving forward, but I do wanna mention that all of these exciting resources and webinar recordings that we've been able to share throughout the year of Whole Health is all housed on our online communication platform called The Block. And if you're looking for a little bit of a deeper dive into each of the different Whole Health topics, make sure you check out our Year of Whole Health blog series on Medium. NHSA really is dedicated to responding to the Head Start community's needs. So please stay tuned for more information about how we're gonna keep this exciting momentum moving forward. Thank you, Sarah. That sounds so exciting. And thank you, Head Start community, for participating in our year of whole health.